Let me share with you an awesome story here on how this founder, Ryan Gilbert, launched a SaaS tool called Loops on Product Hunt, and they not only hit the number one product of the day, they hit the number one product of the week. So let's share the exact lessons that he used here. So this comes from his Twitter head, and his handle is RJ Gilbert. I guess it's not Twitter actually more, it's X, but Ryan did an excellent job at summarizing the lessons learned. So the first lesson is to build an audience ahead of time. So this was a cheat code, and it's one of those things where unfortunately or fortunately, if you have an audience already, it can be one of the single most beneficial things you can do as that audience can then go and upvote your product. The second lesson was to find a hunter. So this wasn't as important in the early days of Product Hunt, but it definitely doesn't hurt. They reached out to a user called Chris Mencina ahead of the launch, and they had around 38,000 followers on Product Hunt. And so he provided a notification to all of them when they launched. The third thing is to pick a day of the week. And it's gonna depend on the potential traffic and what your goals are for your launch. So as a B2B product, they wanted to maximize the potential traffic, still hoping for the number one product of the day. So they went with a Wednesday launch. Next, they had to make sure to prepare their unique launch assets. And these are things that people won't see anywhere else. These are the videos and images shown in the carousel towards the top of the launch page. So we can see their launch screenshots here, making it super easy to understand what the product is about. And they made these look really nice. It's just gonna help with the overall appearance of their launched product. So in terms of the time to launch, it's at 12.01 a.m. And so they did this PST as well, as this gives you the most time in the day to be online. As the leaderboard is gonna reset every single day at 12.01 PST, and it's absolutely crucial that your product is listed right away to give yourself the maximum amount of time and exposure on the leaderboard. The next thing is to have a really good first comment. So this is Ryan Gilbert's first comment here. And he wrote a thoughtful first comment that tells the story and engages the product hunt audience. And it's one of the first things that a product hunt user is going to see. And this ended up being the most upvoted thing on the launch page. So Ryan Gilbert's first comment was, Hi, product hunt. We're excited to officially peel back the curtain and say goodbye to the wait list that we've had for two years at Loops. In that time, we have individually onboarded thousands of customers with thousands more still on the wait list. And we've taken all that early feedback and learnings to shape the product into what you see today. The rest is giving a description of what Loop does. Overall, I like the beginning too, as they shared kind of the history of it. And they also created this sense of this is an established product and has a huge wait list. And now you can get access earlier. They also got early buy-in from their investors by sending them a message to let them know that this was happening so they could have their full support. Next was to email their audience. They've already mentioned how important building an audience is but they notified them of the product hunt launch so they could get more upvotes and get higher on that leaderboard. And so Ryan mentions to link directly to your launch page. You used to be penalized for linking directly to your launch page, but not anymore. Make it as easy as possible for your audience to support them by giving them a direct link. Next is to reply to every comment as comments count similarly to upvotes when it comes to the leaderboard rankings. Reply to as many comments as humanly possible in an authentic way. It's also a great place to ask for feedback. Next, it's don't spam. Everyone hates DM spam. Don't do it. It doesn't work and you will only generate negative feelings towards your product. Next is to track your launch. You can use Product Wars to visualize how you're doing in the early hours. It's important to track too as most Product Hunt users aren't going to scroll past the initial few. Next, what Ryan did is they went and added the Product Hunt badge to their website and you can see the current upvotes and it's a great social proof and may pull in your casual viewers who didn't know you were launching to check it out. So the last three tips here, it's be authentic. Product Hunt users are smart and they can see right through the grifters, otherwise inauthentic people and their launches. Next one is that you're not gonna sleep a lot here. This is half joking, but Ryan spent just about the full day here working at it as this was pretty crucial to just generating a ton of traffic and users. The last tip here is to have fun. That's a product hunt launch at the end of the day isn't going to make or bake your product. And it's just one of the marketing levers you can pull as a SaaS product. So we can see here they had 1700 upvotes, which is a huge amount here. And so definitely successful launch for them. So congratulations to Ryan and thank you for putting this Twitter thread out. I thought I shared here as there are tons of details and it's quite topical too, as it was released not that long ago. Now let's take a look at what Loop's done as I think it's always important to understand the SaaS product. And so it's an email tool for modern SaaS and it's a better way to send marketing plus transactional emails. So it's backed by Y Combinator 
is used by and loved by modern companies here. We can see Framer, Diagram, Stability, AI, Clerk, Undraw, Pipe Dream, and Spline. So it allows for drag and drop editing, lets you polish your designs, and it gives you effortless personalization. So in terms of pricing, they're going to have a free plan to attract users, and they're going to charge on a sliding scale. So if you have your own SaaS tool, this might be something you want to check out. It is designed for modern SaaS companies. So this concludes the video here on. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you want to build your own SaaS product. There's a link in the description below where you can steal free SaaS ideas. All you need to do is enter in your email. I also have a course on how to build your own micro SaaS, even if you don't have any SaaS experience or any product ideas. There's also a link in the description for this video. How to have a successful product hunt launch by Ryan Gilbert. I'll leave a link in the description for the Twitter thread so you can go and read through everything yourself if you want some more detail. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.